Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. Today I have the ultimate cheap lazy vegan recipe video for you because I am showing you guys three different recipes and each recipe takes only five minutes to make and five ingredients. So these are perfect for those weeknights when you just cannot be bothered but you still want to have a delicious meal. And if you enjoy videos like this and you don't want to miss any recipes in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button and and the notification bell so you are notified of future uploads and I really hope you guys like these recipes. I just want to let you know that today's video is in collaboration with Yode Watches and we are actually giving away a $180 gift card to one of my beautiful subscribers. Yay! And you can get yourself one of these very sexy and beautiful watches, one of which I am wearing at this moment. And these watches are made 100% from sustainable wood. And they're actually so beautiful. I actually cannot believe this is made from like discarded furniture or like from naturally fallen trees so yeah don't forget to enter the giveaway the link will be down below the giveaway will be going on till june 4th so don't forget to enter and maybe you can win yourself a beautiful watch or money to spend on a beautiful watch and if you guys can't wait until the giveaway ends and you want to get yourself a watch right now they've also given me a 25 dollars off coupon code and i'll leave that coupon code in the description box as well anyways without further ado let's get started with this video So for this first recipe, we are going to want to cook up some ramen noodles and I am using this brand right here. These are gluten free and vegan and you can use whatever vegan brand of ramen noodles. You can even take out the ramen out of the uh, instant noodle packaging if you prefer that. And we are going to cook them according to the directions. And I also added in some frozen edamame beans into that mixture as well so that they can just cook with the ramen and they can both be finished at the same time. Yay! And then we are going to make the sauce. So in a small bowl, we are going to add some tahini, some maple syrup, a little bit of soy sauce, and mix that up together. And we can add a little bit of water to thin out the sauce a bit and mix it again. And then once the noodles are done, you're going to drain it and put it back into the same pot and we're going to pour that sauce mixture on top and we're going to mix that well together. And of course, if you are a true lazy individual like myself, you would probably eat it straight out of the pot. But for the sake of this video, I am going to plate it and make it look pretty. So here we go. So I just decided to add a few chopped onions, which is totally optional. And I'm also adding a little bit of sriracha sauce, of course. And you can, of course, add whatever ingredients or subtract whatever ingredients you want to. But this was super delicious. And if you want the ingredients list, I've left a link of the blog post with the ingredients list and everything in the description box down below. Okay, so this is perfect for those days when you have leftover rice and you're not really sure what to do with it. So just take a little bit of leftover rice. I am also taking some frozen vegetables, which I've cooked up in the microwave. And then I'm going to take some gochujang, which is shown right here. This is Korean red pepper paste, and I'm adding a little bit with some sesame oil. Uh, so these are things that I already have in my fridge and in my pantry. So it's very, very convenient for those days. And then I'm just going to mix it up together. Now this is obviously not traditional bibimbap, but if you are too lazy to make the vegetables separately and stuff and you know, you just can't be bothered, then you can just do this. And you're pretty much done, you can eat it like this, but I like to add a little bit of protein, so I'm adding a bit of fried tofu, and this is just pan fried, and I burnt it a little bit, but don't judge me, okay? And this is optional, but I added a few uh, toasted sesame seeds on top to jazz it up a little bit, and you're pretty much done, and you can enjoy your lazy man's bibimbap. Bye. 
For this delicious udon recipe, we're going to cook up some pre-cooked udon noodles and we're going to cook it up in a pot and this should only take about 3 minutes but follow the directions on your packaging, okay? And once the noodles are finished, you are going to drain it and put the noodles back into the pot and then we're going to add some peanut butter. And I'm adding just about a tablespoon of peanut butter, but feel free to add more if you wish. And I'm also adding a quarter cup of coconut milk. I'm using light coconut milk, but feel free to use regular if you wish. And I'm also adding some soy sauce and a little bit of ginger powder. And then we are going to mix that up together. And this should be on kind of low heat and it should pretty much be done after you mixed it together. Once again, you can feel free to add whatever you would like to this dish. I am going to plate it because I'm classy that day, but you can feel free to add some vegetables or some protein. So I'm just adding some green onion here. That's optional. And I'm also adding some carrots because I think it look pretty and I'm going to stop talking like this. So that is pretty much it you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed these three super easy and lazy recipes. Don't forget to click that like button if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next Cheap Lazy Vegan video. Thanks. Bye bye.